Okay, okay. So let's see here. Okay. Oh, what happens? Hey, good evening, everybody. How are you? Nice. Relaxing. How is the weather in your location? Is it raining? Um, yeah, it stopped the raining at this time. Okay, great. So, because in my neighborhood, it's raining cats and dogs. Oh, okay. Yes, absolutely. All right. So, well, and how was your day, Mr. Luna? No, I should not at my at my home because I I have a a day off today ah, and tomorrow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will I will uh, uh, work at night shift on Saturday. Oh, okay. So you got like two days off. Oh, four days. Oh, four days. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And I and I I work four days. Um, at night shift. Okay. So you, you do you yeah. like working night shift? Yeah, it's it's it's, re it's relaxed. It's relaxed. Every every shift have a pros and cons. Is it pros and cons? Pros it will be like cons. it will be pros and cons. Yeah, pros and cons. Yeah. Hmm. And the 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 pro at night is I can see the other people. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Like for example, your relatives, right, or or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. And the the comes is you you are asleep. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, exactly. True. I was just but, happy. But if people. I if uh -huh. I if I have uh, things to do, is no problem. Mm -hmm. All right. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, very good. And uh, good evening, Carla. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How I am sick, teacher. Bad. Why? <laughs> because I, I, I am sick. I, I am very bad of my eyes. My my eyes. Mm -hmm. My eyes, yes. Uh, I have, I don't know who say herpes. Herpes. Herpes in my eye. In the mm -hmm. left, right? In, in the, the left eye. On the left eye, all right. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yes, uh, for the reason today, I only... As a listener, because it's, it's, I, I can stay watching the screen. Yeah, I can imagine. So don't worry, right? But if you would like to participate just by listening or speaking, no problem, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so, well, let's continue um, saying good evening to the rest of you guys. So I see also Erica. Good evening, Erica. Good evening. Ready to continue talking about millennials? <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> yeah, so like you continue sharing all those experiences that you have had in your job. No. Look at this. Even worse. <laughs> oh my goodness. So millennial. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> all right. So well, thank you. So Isela. Hello, Isela. How are you? Hello, good evening. Nice. Excellent. So I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. And how's the weather over there? Is it raining? Yes, it's, raining. It's raining. Oh, my God. Well, so let's see. Oh, I can also see Mr. Joelman. Hello, Joelman. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Great. Also, awesome, awesome, awesome. Good to know that. All right. So, well, let's just go ahead and start practicing. You know, I, I like to like um start the class, of course, 
practicing with a tongue twister, you know, because this is like the best way to practice your pronunciation sometimes, all right? So let's see. The one that I have for you today, it also has a name and the name is a terrible tongue twister, like that people, a terrible one. So let's see here. Take a look at this one. Let me know when you can see the screen, okay? All right, there should be, all right? It says a terrible tongue twister. Let's see how terrible this is. So it says a big black bug beat the big black bear, but the big black bear beat the big black bug back. So how was it? Oh, it's like that. Uh huh. How do you say also, people? Mm -hmm. Beer. Is it beer, beer. or bear? Bear. bear? bear. Exactly. Thank you for the one who was using the translator. Bear. A big black bug beat the big black bear, but the big bear. black bear beat the big black bug back. <laughs> right. So let's see. It's going to be easy, 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 easy. All right. So, well, let's just practice this one right now. So I will give you right now, um, so we can practice here in the main classroom, so no problem, right? So let's just practice. I will give you right now, just two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, so we can practice the pronunciation. If you have questions about this, please let me know so I can help you with the pronunciation. But remember, we're gonna practice how to pronounce this one. A big black bug beat the big black bird, but the, the black, Sorry, I'm, I made a mistake. Oh my God, one more time. A big black bug beat the big black bear, but the big black bear beat the big black bug back. Okay, I did it, all right? So practice, practice. I will set the time here on my phone. So you're gonna make sure that you are going to practice for two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. So let's see here. Timer, two minutes practicing now so here we have the timer for two minutes all right so you have two minutes two minutes two minutes for practicing and then i will go with some volunteers come on remember if you have questions about pronunciation let me know <laughs> remember practice 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 pronunciation pronunciation You're practicing, you're practicing, you're practicing. You still have one more minute. All right. 45 seconds. Okay, okay, so let's see. It's almost time. Take a look. Awesome. So let's see. Let's stop it. All right. Okay, okay, I need a volunteer right now. Who wants to be my first volunteer, ladies and gentlemen? Please tell me. My first volunteer, who was it? Hello, hello? Can I? Absolutely, Jamie, please go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Big black bug. Oh, <laughs> I'm going oh, to right, start. Go a big black bone beat the big black bear. But the big black bear beat the big black bug bang wow. back. 
back, right? Yeah, I also made the same mistake when I was practicing. I said black at the end, all right, and it's back. All right, but thank you, Jamie. You did good. Thank you very much. So, Jamie, since you were the first one, now you have the power to choose the next volunteer. So tell me, who's, who is it going to be? Daniel Anthony Luna. Okay, let's see. Let me see here. Where is it? Okay. Daniel, go okay. ahead. Huh? Uh, a bit black belt. Beat the beat black bear. Mm -hmm. Beat the beat black bear. Beat the beat black box back. There you go. Awesome. Mr. Luna, super nice. Good job. Sir, now please choose the next person. Erika Jasmine. Okay. Jasmine, Jasmine. Okay. <laughs> okay, it says a big black bug beat the big black bird but the big black bird pin the big black bird box all right thank you easy right uh, kind of kind of all right awesome so let's just go with this one all right now tell me erica who's the next one let me see adriana adriana <laughs> good evening and welcome to the class your friend was waiting for you <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. A big black bug with a big black bird. But a big black bird with a big black bug back. All right. Excellent. So super easy, right? Thank you, Adriana. Now please choose the next person. So we have Isela, we have Carla, we have Joel, man. Oh, no, Carla cannot participate. I remember now. All right. So it's Amanda, mm -hmm. Lucy, et cetera, right? Okay, and maybe Joman. Joman, mm -hmm. Joman. Hello, Joman. You're there? Hi. All right, so yes. go ahead, please. <clears throat> A big black bull beat the big black bear, but the big black bear beat the <laughs> big black bull back. All right, excellent. So just two observations right here, Joma. You did good with the majority of the words. Just remember that this one is no boot, is bat. And this one is no book, is bug. All right, so you want to try it one more time, please? Joman, do it again, please. A big black bug. Bug is bug. A big black bug bit. The big black bear, but the big black bear beat the big black bag back. Exactly. Thank you very much. That was way better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Joma, we are going to close the activity with you. So, thank you very much for participating. And thank you, everybody who participated in this activity as well. All right. So let's just continue right now here, and we're going to go with a different thing. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be working with something else right here. You will see. All right. Okay, here it is. Oh, Jesus of the garden. <laughs> oh, that doesn't exist, but I'm just kidding, okay? Don't repeat that. Okay, so let's see. There you go. Okay, one second. Just got stuck right here. Okay. This is the presentation. Here it is. Sorry, it's taking some time. So let me know when you can see the screen. Yes. Okay, well, well, as you might know, so the whole unit three, it's about millennials. So we've been talking about this one for a while. Uh, but even though the topic has been pretty much the same uh, all those days, so we have been trying to work on different activities so you don't feel that it's exactly the same thing every single day. All right. So now we're going to focus on pronouncing and reading this um, information with um, good pronunciation and good intonation. All right. So, well, 
let's see here. I will read it for you first, and then I will pick three people who help me to read each paragraph there. So please follow me. It says, who are the millennials? The generation were beginning in 1980 and defined for the purposes of this analysis, analysis as adults ages 18 to 34 years. The millennials or generation Y might be known as eco boomers because they are the children of baby boomers or someone who was born during the period of increased birth rates that occurred between 1946 and 1964. The millennials are also referred to as millennials, the internet generation, iGen, and or the net generation and generation Y. So those are like the paragraphs that you guys are going to read. Now, I want to hear you reading those paragraphs. Who wants to be my first volunteer for paragraph number one, including the first question? Volunteer, volunteer for reading? Hello, hello? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you, um, Antonio. So remember the question and also the first paragraph. Okay. Who are the millennials? Mm -hmm. The generation war beginning in 1980 and the final for the purpose of this analysis as a good age, 1834. Thank you very much. Excellent. So now you please choose the next volunteer. Let me see one with some off. Let me see. <laughs> Lucy Juarez, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Lucy. Lucy, no. Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Lucy. It's not here. <laughs> no, <venido. laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me look, Isela. Isela, she's back already. Okay. Okay. Paragraph number okay. two, Isela. Mm -hmm. The millennials are also referred to as, to as millennials. Uh -uh, you're internet... reading paragraph number three. Sorry. It's paragraph number two. Ah, okay. The millennials are generation. Correct. Yes. Why maybe now as eco boomers because eco, eco boomers they are the children of baby boomers or someone who was born during during the period of increase birth birth, birth. birth. rates birth rate that occurred between 90, 80, 94, 46. 19. <laughs> 19, 46. Correct. And 90, 19, 64, 1964. <laughs> yes, excellent. Thank you. Remember that 90 means 90, right? And uh, 19 means 19, as you can see there. All right. So good. Thank you very much. Now, Isela, please tell me who is going to be the next volunteer for paragraph number three. Mm. Adriana, no sé. Adriana, hello, Adriana. <laughs> oh, yes, the all mi... right. Go ahead, Adriana. The mi... Okay. <laughs> the millennials are also referred to millennials, the internet generation, a... M... Gem... IGEN, it will be. I, I gen. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gen and or the next generation and generation Y. Generation Y. Thank you very much. That was actually super good. All right. So we are going to see what's next right here. Now, I guess it is very clear what is actually the millennials after these like two days, right? Talking about them. We can definitely um understand what millennials are um you know general information about them who are they what do they do etc right but now let's just go for this one right here let's take a look at this one and it says in the workplace what we were when we were to talk about here in the workplace 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 we have certain information here that we need to read about millennials millennials in the workplace in your jobs all right so erica would you please be so kind to help me reading this information i have here 
Erica. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you repeat it, please? Sure. Can you please be so kind and help me reading the information you can see on the screen now? I'm sorry. It's kind of, I don't know, but I... Okay, no problem. Uh, can you hear me better now? Hello? Um, no. No? Sí? <laughs> yes or no? Maybe. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, can you please... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, what are you... What are you... I don't know. It sounds cortado. It's breaking up. Okay. Uh, can you please help me reading the information you see there? Read the information. Please. Okay. Uh, in the workplace, 91% of millennials expect to stay in the current job for two years or less, with 45% of companies reporting higher turnover rates among this group versus other generations. All right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now that you were reading that, Erica, can you please tell me what did you understand from that? That, that is completely broken. <laughs> it's completely, I'm sorry, it's completely what? It's real, it's what real. it says. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's real because in my case, I'm looking for a new job actually right now. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Do so you want to change your job at the call center? Yes, I, I need to move on. I need to uh, do what I'm studying at the university. Actually, I'm doing my partial right now, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, well. But I want to do. I want to. I want to do what exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no worry. Actually, I'm I'm trying to look for a, for a job that I can do what I'm studying. In, so in now in the call center, I'm doing actually finance. Oh no no no! Oh yeah. uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, but my I want to be a specialist in in um a derecho administrativo. So, are so you I here? want to work. Yes, and I want to work in that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not in a call center. Yeah. I I think one one year one year is enough to work in a call center. For me, one year is enough. I got the enough. I think the enough um experience there. Mm -hmm. So I need to move on and continue growing into a new company. And do you think that if you find a job in the area you're looking for, would you keep that job for more than three years? Or actually, would you follow what the, the information there says? And you're going to quit after a couple of years. For to be completely honest, if the company give me what I need, continue growing, or to give me a, a, like a, a stability. A stability. Even stability in economy and uh, professional in continuing growing, I cannot stay there for more than maybe get a jubilación there. <laughs> I don't know. Until I retire. Until I, when? What? Until I get retired. Until I get retired. Yes, yes. I can think. Actually, I'm looking. I've received some of offers, offers okay. to work on, on different bands, offers to work on different bands. So I'm looking some of them. All right. That's, that's actually super yes. nice, I would say, because you are the one now considering what option you're going to take, right? Yes, I have experience working in a bank, but uh, I'm looking for the position, especially. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yes. All right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for always contributing with experience uh, <laughs> to this very interesting topic about millennials. All right. So thank you. All right. Uh, let's just move forward here. So we got like the first impression on this one. All right. But I want to actually ask the same question to the rest of you guys. All right. So for example, do you think that it is, is it true that millennials 
change the job very often or it's not true? Let's see. Let me ask another millennial. Let's see. Adriana. All right. So, um, so do you agree or disagree with this statement that says that millennials quit very quickly? I am like 50, 50 percent and agree with this because I think that it's not just for for a generation uh -huh. uh, because I know some baby boomers that when they, they was young, they was moving in different uh, jobs, even when they they just have for example just three months they they were moving to different jobs and i think that is not just for uh just are like a characteristic uh from a, a specific generation but i know that when you are young you are trying to to look for a new new opportunities, new position, new experience. So I think that is more for this this statement is uh is something that can be for the young people, but not not for a specific generation. Oh, okay, that's actually a very interesting point. You know, I didn't think in uh, about this in that way. Right, because we are just saying, like, okay, you are a millennial, so you quit easily, right? But you are saying something that is, it might be true, right? So it's more related to like um, your age, perhaps, right? So or maybe just being young, not having the experience, right? So I really like that point. Thank you, Adriana, and very well explained, actually. Good job. Thank you. So we had two people here uh, discussing about this one. All right, so let's just continue here with the next part. Let's see. Okay, here we have more information about millennials in the workplace, all right? Uh, who can help me to read this one right here? All right, Jamie, are you there? Hello, Jamie. Hello. All right, excellent, welcome back. Can you help me to read that short paragraph that you can see there? Okay. Uh, bye. 2015, Correct. more than 15% of all employees worldwide will be born after 1980. And this number is said to grab uh, 75% by 20, 20, 25. 20, right. You know what? Uh, okay, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Jamie. You know, the reason why we are just like reading those details of this information in this way is because I want you to uh, practice numbers, guys, and how to read certain information. So this is going to be really helpful for you, especially when you are reading, for example, reports like this one, right? So that sometimes you might get confused with some numbers, right? So for example, it's kind of hard to, um, you know, pronounce uh, in like 15 and 50, right, in English, because they are very similar, but there is a difference, of course, right? So 15 is 15, and 50 is 50. So there is a, a, a difference in the final sound that makes actually a number different as well. And the years, remember that the years, you can divide it. So for example, if you can see here, um, in this case, you have the first number here, which is 20, and then you have 25 right here. So you can divide that one and say 20, 25. That uh, can be possible with all the years with the exception of the years from 2000 to 2009. So on those years, we cannot divide it. We have to say them like the way they are, 2000, 2001, 2002, et cetera, until 2009. But then any other year, yeah, we can go ahead and divide it. So for example, and this one right here, it will be 2025. So thank you very much. So this one, we are not going to discuss it because it's just basically, um, you know, information about like, you know, by the time, by those years, 
like the majority of the employees are going to be uh, from the millennial generation, but that as Adriana was saying before, it's because of the age, right? So if you were born in 1980, so yeah, you should be working already, all right? So then let's see what's the next one right here, okay? Let's uh, see this one, and it's going to be this. We have this one now. All right, excellent. So um, let's see, who can help me to read this one right here? Mr. Luna, would you mind helping me reading this? Okay, millennials have no problems leaving the job for one that will be more accommodating to their personal values and ambition. And while they are ambitious to move in their in their careers, loyalty to an organization is not a particular strong value. All right, excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so. Well, let me ask you, uh, Mr. Luna, now that you are from a different generation, perhaps you can have a different opinion. You can share your opinion. Well, what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with this, say that millennials don't actually um, have loyalty for companies and they only look for their personal ambitions? Okay, I, I think, uh, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't say is this, I is on agree or disagree mm -hmm. because I don't I don't I don't how I don't how I mean I don't I don't I don't I don't know how to to the millennial people's uh, thinking mm -hmm. or what or what they how in in her in her brain in her head in their brains uh, in their brains but right. but uh, the last paragraph. Uh, to say loyalty and organization is not a particular strong value. I, 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 um, I am not agree with that, with this, uh, with this uh, paragraph because uh, if if I if I uh, if I I belong a company, I need to to stay with the company. Uh, uh, to the how say at pie del cañón, como dicen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, it, and then we we have a a compromise with the with the company. It would be a commitment. Commitment. A commitment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. a, a commitment with the company. In my particular, in my particular thing. Thinking. All right. I don't, I don't. I don't know how 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 to the millennial think. All right, excellent. So, well, that's an interesting discussion. We can start now because, um, well, let's see. Um, if you had the opportunity to move to a different company that offers you more benefits, perhaps a higher payment or working from home or all the things that we can um, perceive now as benefits, would you take the opportunity or would you continue in the company where you are currently working at? Um, okay, at my at my actually job, I am happy. Mm -hmm. I am happy because I I have a good salary. I have uh, transportation from San Salvador to to Comalapa. I have a day off in the in the mid in the week in the middle of the week. Yeah, uh, is um if. If I move to my to other to other job, I think it's a uh, the other job need to stay in another country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But 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 in this country because in this country the the salary I am is not is not too too high. Mm -hmm. In my case, I I I I I I have I I I am happy with the salary. I, okay. No, dicen, no me puedo quejar. <laughs> you say that in English. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. I am happy. All right. Great. Yeah. Great. Great. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And also, uh, everybody, let me tell you that um, when you want to express 
agreement, right, uh, about what something uh, you see or someone is saying, you don't have to say, I am agree. That's not correct. You have to say, I agree. Because remember that the verb agree in Spanish already means estar de acuerdo. So you don't need the verb to be. All right. So you okay. simply say, I agree. And that's it. All right. But thank you. Okay. Everything else was actually pretty good. We, you know, valid point of view. So we can actually uh, see that one. All right. Thank you. So now let's see. Um, now let me ask someone from the newest generation. I guess Jolman can help us with that. Jolman, are you around? Jolman, Jolman? Hi. Hello, Jolman. Hi. So uh, we are just reading this paragraph that you can see on the screen. And we are asking if you agree or disagree with that. Can you help us? Hello? Mm. Well, uh, it depends depend of the, the, the situation. Mm -hmm. of the of the of the person mm -hmm. uh, for example if you if you if you want money mm -hmm. and you just want you you just wanting in 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 work and and whatever and work but mm -hmm. if you if you think in in and work in yes work and study mm -hmm. different so it depends of the of the of the of the vision of the goals of the the, the person okay let, let me ask you personally um how do you see yourself in five years from now? Uh, can you repeat? Of course. How do you see yourself in five years from now? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I have, I have different uh, goals to achieve but I don't know maybe we are almost finish finish my 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 career my university your major yes mm -hmm. and or I don't know with with a better job with a better job all right great excellent thank you Yoma, for participating and thank you to the person who helped you understanding the question say hi by the way hi. <laughs> all right excellent so well let's just continue with this one here so we can see um a new slide here okay this one it's a new one here and it says it is important to understand that millennials have, uh, sorry, behave differently and need different type of solutions to stay engaged at work. All right. So, and also it says right here that this is the personality traits of millennials. All right. So let's say this one right here. It says motivational here. Okay. So it just goes like this one, ladies and gentlemen. And can you see this one? Can you see it? Yes. All right, all right. Yes, yes. Okay, great, 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 excellent. So it says here, um, Fatima, can you help me reading all those points you see there? Okay, the personality traits of millennials. Mm -hmm. Motivated by meaning, mm -hmm. challenge hier hierarchical structures, hierarchical. want 
hierarchical structures. Mm -hmm. One, a relationship with their boss. Okay. It's saving, to say the least. To say the least, uh huh. To say the least. Mm -hmm. Open the change. Task not tied or oriented. Oriented, uh huh. Oriented. Have a hunger for learning. Okay. Brave constant feedback. Want recognition. Yeah. Want to have fun, even in the workplace. Thank you. All right. So let's just go over all those points again. Thank you for helping us, uh, Fatima. You did good. All right. So in uh, when it says motivated by meaning, it means that they are like, you know, when they talk about motivation, they really mean that. So there, there's, there needs to be a motivation to do something. All right, so maybe because they want to get a promotion, may, uh, maybe because they want to get a better position, because they want to get a rise in the salary, because they want to get recognition at the end. So that's actually what motivates um, a millennial, right? Or let me ask you this one. Don't you feel motivated when you know there is going to be something that you can get, right? So like perhaps a new position in your job or um, a new salary, a new office, etc., right? So they said challenge uh, hierarchical structures, which is this one is just like, you know, that in the companies you have like the organizational uh, chart, right? Or the organization chart, who tells you who's the boss and the supervisor, then quality agents, whatever, right? So, and they don't like that structure. So they like, like everybody, it's equal there. Everybody has the same um, abilities and the same characteristics and et cetera, right? They don't like that one. In the number three, the number three, well, we gotta be careful, right? So don't get confused on this one, all right? So, but it says right here, want a relationship with their boss. Let's see what happens. This one, what a relationship with their boss. Please don't misunderstand this one. It's not because they want to have a romantic relationship, right? It means like they have, they want to have like, you know, um a regular conversation with the boss they want to see like they can talk to the boss the same way they talk to a co-worker for example that's what it means right mm, okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right. i am thinking in, in another another perspective exactly I, I imagine that that's why i had to clarify it right yeah it's not like you want to have a, a relationship with your boss it's because they want to like you know, get along with the boss, actually. Okay. All right, excellent. So tech savvy, what's a tech savvy? Do you know that? The next one, this one right here. No, that's a person who is expert with technology. You know, they know how to use computers, how to fix them, how to use these phones. Uh, what apps they can use, et cetera, et cetera, right? And I, whoa, let me just share a personal experience. You know, uh, one of those days I needed to uh, scan a document to send it by email, right? And I went to the receptionist in the place where I work and I said, can you please help me to uh, scan this uh, page so I can send it? And the receptionist says, the scanner is not working, but don't worry. I have an app on my phone and it's going to be the same. And then she opened the app, took a picture, and then the document was exactly as if it was a scan on a printer, right? So I was like, she was a tech savvy because she was a young girl. So she knew about technology. That's what it means. Is that clear? Yep. Great. Awesome. Open to change. All right. So yeah. So as long as they receive feedback, millennials are people who normally likes to change, well, who they will say, yeah. We can do this one. So if you don't like it, so I can try in a different way. Because if you think about it, this is exactly what they like, right? So um, they like when you uh, tell them if they did good or not, and if they didn't do good. So they actually worry about that and they try to change it, right? Um, The next one, task-oriented, not time-oriented. What does it mean? What is a task? Let me ask you this one. What is a task? Do you know it? An activity to do. An activity to do, exactly, right? So like, for example, Adina, now that you mentioned that, thank you, by the way, um, what are the common tasks 
that you have in your job? Um, common task. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but, okay. um, maybe um, create a um, I, I I know how to explain it, but I, I don't know how to make it easier to explain. <laughs> um, so so you need the vocabulary in English? Um, not exactly. For example, crear propiedades in the CRM de los clientes. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what was that again? Repeat it. Crear propiedades o campos de información en los CRM de los clientes. So it's just like to create, um, mm -hmm. that would be to create, or to uh -huh. actually um, more information in the customer's profile. Could mm -hmm. be like that. Yes, <laughs> it could be. In simple words, let's say. Okay? <laughs> yes. To add more information to to existing uh, customers, right? Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. All right. And let me ask you this one. Do you have a goal to do that? I mean, like you had to enter certain amount of information uh, by 4 p.m. or how does it work? Do you have goals? Uh, no. For example, we have a platform. It's called um, oh my goodness, ClickUp. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's a platform and... Uh, the name is ClickUp. So they create like a, a, a card, a tarjetita. Yeah. And it. they, they, and then uh, it, the card has a, a name and this is the name of the task. Mm -hmm. And also we have the description and also if we need some link or something like that, we can uh, find in the, in the, and in the cart and also in the same cart you can um put the the time uh, you you um okay, you took to do that that task but um we don't have like a specific goal for every task so we just have to to finish uh, in during the whole week for example, if uh, some task take you some a uh, one hour, you just have to to put this time in the card, and that's the way we manage the the time of every activity we we have to do. Oh, I see. All right, excellent. Thank you. So that's the activity you have to do, but you don't have like, for example. Uh, you had to do that by 5 p.m., for example, or you had to do that by tomorrow? No. Um, for example, there are a specific... Um, it, it has to be something very, very specific from the person uh, or from the, the client. For example, he need... A, maybe he said that he need this for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And they give us the this kind of information but it is not always it's just for some specific uh, specific uh, cases okay cases mm -hmm. okay okay that's actually very interesting so in your case it doesn't apply what it says there because you don't have like a goal like to present certain reports by a specific time right this is just for mm -hmm. example like um, I guess like the best example I can say about this one is uh, OR call centers. I'll tell you what happens. What happens, it's just, um, you know, in a call center, you need to, um, you know, of course, take calls, but there is certain average of minutes that the, the, call, the calls need to last, all right? So, and if you are actually having longer calls, your supervisor is like, please try to reduce them, all right? So, because your calls are too long. And sometimes people don't like that because, um, you know, they don't like to um to receive feedback, right? So, or they don't like to, they prefer to, like to achieve the goal, but in their own way, for example. That's actually what this is applied to. But thank you, for, Adriana, for sharing that very interesting information. Okay, let's see this one. They have a hunger for learning. 
absolutely. You know, this is, I have heard the comments and this is like the most um, prepared when it comes to studies uh, generation, right? We know a lot of things, you know, we, most of us have studies and, um, you know, definitely some of us as well need like a, or enjoy actually being, um, you know, in learning more. That's what I'm trying to say. Crave or crave. How do you pronounce this word, ladies and gentlemen? Who can help me to pronounce this one? Crave or crave? Crave. <laughs> crave. All right. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is it? Right. Yes. Crave or crave. Crave. Well, we're just my same questions. <laughs> what is it? Crave or crab? <laughs> All right. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crab. Okay. I got one boat for crab, another one for crave. All right. So, who, who gives more? All right. <laughs> so, wait. Crab. Crab. Hello, hello. Uh huh. Crave. I heard somebody there saying crave, all right? But yeah, you're right. It's crave, all right. So crave, constant feedback. But what is crave, all right? Crave is just like ask. It's a synonym of ask, all right. So ask for constant feedback because you want to know if you're doing the things in a correct way or not. Or let's say, for example, when you're doing or oh, you're performing your job. So if you are not receiving a a feedback, it's not possible to, to know if you're doing well or not. Then one recognition, but I guess, personally speaking, you can tell me that. Uh, when it says here, one recognition, everybody likes to receive recognition, yes or no? Of course, right? So they like to say, I mean, you like when they say like, congratulations, Fuenito, Fuenita, you did wonderfully. It was amazing. You did a fantastic. So everybody likes that and want to have fun. And this is the point where everybody actually might disagree with. All right. So because since millennials want to have fun all the time, everywhere, some people call it like non being serious. All right. Or don't take things seriously because you're playing around supposedly, right? And this is actually what happens. So for example, let's see, let me ask someone else right here. All right, uh, Isela, Isela, are you there? Are you, what? <laughs> are you there? I was just asking if you are there. All right, so uh, Isela, do you agree or disagree uh, with the fact that millennials might not be formal a hundred percent formal in their jobs in my opinion mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Go ahead. at my mm -hmm. at my job everyone is sober oh, and then has a lot of stability uh, some are close to red Sitting, uh, jubilados, jubilados. Yeah, retired. Retired. Must people only help the millennials and to um, want experience in a first job and then move it to another one, either closer to him or more comfortable, should a uh, it's uh, for example tele teleworking. Oh yeah. Um, I think. Okay, yeah, it's true. Actually, it's true, it's true, it's true, because um, you know, as you said it, I agree with something you said they're super important. They are just uh trying to get experience and that's it, right? Okay, yeah, I like it. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well said. Okay, so now let's just continue with the next one to see what do they say here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. This one right here, it's actually what we were just like discussing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, can you see it? 
Yes. Yes, awesome. All right. So it's going to be this one right here. Okay, and this is basically explaining what we have been uh, talking about before, right? So what it says, like millennials, they are able to share their gift, make an impact in their lives, um, and I live your desired quality of life, right? So that's actually what they said by this one. Challenge have uh, hierarchical structures, right? So and it says right there, for example, Mr. Luna, can you help me to read all those points there? Okay, challenge higher head structures, mm -hmm. not afraid to share their opinion and ideas, mm -hmm. not afraid to challenge their superior. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, you might have an idea there. Mm, an idea, okay. Yes, yeah, they are. They, uh -huh. Sorry? They have a, 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 a I'll say, uh, because if you don't have a right to challenge their superiors, it is because they, they, they think they are, they know more than superiors, if not, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, that's basically like the whole thing there, right? So you did good. Thank you. Thank you on that one. All right. And uh, let's hit this one right here. Now, let's just go for other ones here. And it says, that's what it takes heavy, uh, to say the least. The heavy, heavily digital usage, use of social media as a source of learning and seeking for information. They breathe technology. They prefer texting to talking, etc. right? And um, they say, for example, here, open to change. We were talking about all those things already. Constant feedback, as you could see this one before. All right. And uh, let's see. Recognition. All right. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. This one right here. Communication is essential to engaging with the millennials. All right. So let's see. Um, um, nom, nom, nom. Joel Man, can you help me reading this one, please? Um, <clears throat> communication mm -hmm. is essential to engaging, mm -hmm. engaging, engaging, uh -huh. engaging with the millennials. Mm -hmm. um, now, down. The, uh -huh. Can you read like the part under the okay. picture? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The millennials value mm -hmm. transparent, transparency, transparency, and communication from em empl employers. So to engage uh, those young workers, companies need to learn to listen to millennials and communicate with them about company culture. Culture. Business of mm -hmm. Culture. Culture, yes. Culture. Mm -hmm. Business ob objectives, career hands, and more. Okay, very good. Excellent, thank you. So what do you think on this one? So it says like, um, you know, the communication is actually something really important for them, right? So it is important to communicate. It is important to, um, you know, um, to, to be clear, actually. That's what I want to say. So be clear and have the opportunity to communicate. All right. So let's see. Now let's just continue with this one right here. Thank you, gentlemen. And let's see. Um, now we're going to talk about like learn to welcome and retain your millennial staff the right way. So why is this one right here? Because we are going to like, you know, millennials, they can be actually a good source for the company because they know a lot, right? And they actually use technology that it can be used um, in the company. Like for example, yesterday, there was someone who was talking about the photocopies. Um, and I guess that was Erica, I guess. She was saying that she saved some money for the um, company because um, she she actually showed them how to use 
the photocopy, all right? So machine and, you know, that, you know, it is important to have millennials in companies because they can help us as well to save some money. So now let's see, um, Erica, are you done with your partial or can you help us to read? I can, I can do it. I can right. do it. Thank you. Okay, learn to welcome and retain your millennial staff the right way. Uh -huh. Although corporate, okay, what? Hierarchies. Come on. The hierarchies. Hierarchies. Yes. Okay, although corporate hierarchies will probably always exist, making everyone within an organization, especially the newest members of the workforce, understand their value and importance to the company is crucial. Crucial? Mm -hmm. Crucial, crucial, crucial? Okay. crucial, crucial. The company is crucial. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's crucial. To produce, the, to produce their best work, millennials need to feel engaged, engaged in what they are doing, keep them in the loop and do so and do so on a regular basis. Okay, very good. Awesome. Okay. So thank you very much. Now okay. tell me, what did you understand? <laughs> Actually, uh, I don't know how to how to say it, but when you have millennials in your team, you need you need to give them the empowerment of the place that that, it, that they are working in. Because if you don't feel comfortable or comfy in your place, in your workplace, you won't wanna work good. <laughs> so, and if you feel that empowerment in your place, I think that's it. You need just to feel empowerment in your place too. All right, good, 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 excellent. So yeah, to feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. To feel appreciated, actually, that's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Thank you, thank you for the Spanglish. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's see this one. It says that the belief and mission of the company matters to the millennials because they want to work for companies that have a positive impact on society. They want to identify with the company's brand footprint and greater cause. So. Yeah, this is actually something a little bit different from what we were like reading before, where they say that they don't have loyalty to the company, but whenever they actually, they can give everything to the company whenever they feel identified with the company's vision or mission, right? So that's actually what this is telling us right here. All right, so let's now check out what it says right here. It says, let's take a look at the Google YouTube office by the millennials for the millennials, all right? So let's see. Look at this millennial office from the company called YouTube. Look at this image. All right. So, uh, you know, what do you think about that? How do they look? Would you like to work in a company that has that type of reception? Mm -hmm. That looks like, mm, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So let's see this one. Imagine working at YouTube, right? So first of all, you will feel like, you know, like, oh my God, I'm working for a company of a product that I really use every day, like YouTube, right? So, and to know like different things from the company there. So let's see. Um, Fatima, are you there, Fatima? Yes, teacher. Hi, Fatima. Can you help me, please, reading what you can see there? Houses are large play bottom and flat screens on the wall, which constantly play a YouTube trends playlist, so employees stay up to date with happenings on the site. Thank you very much. All right. So and now tell me, what do you get? What do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right, let me mm -hmm. help you with that one. 
It says that collaboration is the heart of all YouTube projects and the office space supports you with open areas and communal style workspaces. Employees from all levels and positions sit side by side. So basically the company believes that um, it is important to, to have communication, right? So for example, you can see the CEO of the company sitting next to you, having lunch with you, talking about what good ideas for the company. That's what they are saying. So let's actually take a look to Google's office. Let's see what they say here. All right, so let's see. Okay, so you see that? Yes. This looks like that one, all right? So this one, it looks like a like an office you can see in movies or soap operas or series, right? So let's see. Uh, let's talk about that, all right? So Jamie, hello, Jamie, are you there? Yes, I am. Yes, I hear. Can you please help me reading that, for, for, please? Workplace environment matters. Mm -hmm. This a natural lighting and in, in a comfortable work environment is a top priority priority for all dual offices. This roof level roof holds a range of couches and sofas that are used for meetings. The backdrop is decorated with a uh, YouTube videos wall that includes snapshots mm -hmm. from some of the videos for all the time. All right, excellent. So like that. So thank you very much. So let's like, see, like you know, they believe that if people feel feel comfortable in their workspace, so they were gonna be more productive. All right. So let me ask you this, Jamie. Uh, what do you do? What is your job about? I I work in construction. In construction, so like working like on the construction or for a construction company. Um, I work for a construction. No, I work for a company that generates energy, but um, the company how employees that engineer electric mechanic civil okay the different department okay okay very good excellent so and do you have an office or you share the office with other people i have a off uh, yes i i share the office with another people okay excellent so in personally speaking would you like to have an office like the one you see on the picture now Yes. Right. How would you feel in an office like that one? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, the most people, the most common people, uh, could be feel comfortable. Okay. Because it, it, how would you it, personally feel there? I think that. It, <laughs> In my case, I guess that it will be difficult to concentrate. And you you can get distracted by by what you can yeah. see on the street. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. I see. I see. All right. No problem. Thank you. And thank you very much for sharing that. All right. So let's see now here. What is this one? Okay. Think about this one. Look at this picture. Look at these pictures and tell me how would you feel there. Do you like pets, people? Do you have pets? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Would you like to take your pet to your office, to your job? No. No? <laughs> Why not? No. I have three cats and two dogs. So imagine having them, them in my office. <laughs> right oh my goodness so they're gonna be crazy they're gonna be like fighting and everything else right there all right so like that and it's just like you know in google many employees bring their dogs to their office every day so but you know that has pros and cons right because 
it depends on the type of pet you have and how big you have, I mean, how big your pet is. Because for example, if you have a chihuahua or a cat, that will be okay. But if you have like a, a dog, like the Pink one you in the pictures, I don't think it's gonna be a good idea, right? Especially when they are barking. Yeah, like that. Okay, excellent. So now let's see what's gonna be the next picture right here. All right, so it is this right here. The Brand Lab, it's a place for customers. The Brand Lab, take a look to you. So the Brand Lab, which is going to be, um, the brand means marca. And it says like, if we change translate this one, it says like, El Laboratorio de las Marcas. But why this one? It's a place for customers, executives, and their advertising or creative agencies who are charged with building brands and growing revenue to think through um how they can create better connections with people right so like even though the spaces for sharing with the customers are um, as good as the one for the employees so customers can feel comfortable there all right so that's this one all right in um you know this one is a uh, you know made for serve its clients as a digital partner to help more brands uh, to full potential of their website. Remember that Google is everywhere, right? So when you look for something on Google, you get ads of everything, right? So every website and things like that. All right, take a look to this one. That's my favorite one, all right? Take a look at this one, which is a pool. Who likes pools, people? The swimming pools, by the way, all right? Do you like the swimming pools, people? Yes, all right. Yes, I like Okay, would you like to yes. have would you like to have um you know an amenity like this in your companies? Would you use it? Yeah, I use it. <laughs> of course. Yes, I use. <laughs> All right, very good. So imagine it's just like okay, I have lunch, but I don't want to have lunch. I'm gonna swim for an hour, right? So it's gonna be like relaxing, right? So uh, there is one office of uh, YouTube, right, in the headquarters that is the only Google, the, sorry, the only Google office with the full land lab pool. This indoor pool uh, is connected to the fitness center. So they have also a gym. Nowadays, having gyms in the companies is becoming more common. Um, I have some students who work in call centers. So they tell me that they have gyms in their call centers. Imagine, um, if you had the opportunity to have a gym in your company, would you go to the gym or not? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hey, teacher, I have, a, I have, a, I have a, a gym in my in my in my workplace. Okay, but I don't use it. I am less okay. Aragan, lazy, lazy, lazy. I am lazy. <laughs> Oh my God, imagine. Well, I cannot judge you because I'm the same way, all right? All right, excellent. So, um, well, let's see what else actually they have here. Oh, take a look at this one. So there you can see the people, you know, uh, the walking machine, all right? So having, uh, watching videos, I guess, on YouTube, right? Or having those, schoolers, uh, schoolers, sorry, to move from one place to another one, all right? So that's interesting, all right? Um, let's just continue with this one right here. Create a playground at work. Imagine they have a playground with some slices, all right? So let me ask you something, just to say something, people, when was the last time that you played in one of those? Yeah. Uh, one month ago in a in a play in a, in a park called no. Saburo Irao oh, with my yeah. son. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, with my son. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is common. And imagine if you if you have one of those in your job, will you um will you be able? I you... use it every day. <laughs> yeah. use it to read every every time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, excellent. So 
Okay, and that's this one. Let's see the next one right here, all right? Take a look at this one. This is like a golf. Well, maybe this is not something we, we all here in El Salvador are going to play, but, you know. It's a mini golf, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see this one. And now let's see what else they have for us right here, all right? It says this one right here. So um, imagine this one. So in the YouTube, in the YouTube's headquarters, which are like the main offices in a company, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the chef prepares, um, you know, the, the food for all of them. And that's like a millennial company, right? So and let me ask you this one. How many times have you received breakfast, lunch, or dinner from your companies? That's a good question, right? But we're not going to answer it. Let's just keep it accurately. So now uh, we have been talking about millennials, what they like, what they are looking for. And uh, now we have this question right here. The question says, how should employers connect with millennials in the workplace, right? What are the recommendations actually to connect with millennials, right? So we can talk about like, you know, provide mentoring and coaching, uh, give recognition for accomplishments, cultivate an environment of continuous learning, invest in learning technology, and offer training in workplace behavior and culture, right? So let me ask you something here, you guys, personally speaking, do you believe that El Salvador's millennials are the same as American millennials? No. No? You said no. Jamie, right? So why not, Jamie? I think that all these, all, well, for example, those countries, for example, United States, are more um, development. They developed. Uh -huh. They developed. Mm -hmm. And so the 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 millennials have some of these opportunities that opportunities that we are in this country. <laughs> okay. All right. So in, uh, let's see, would you actually um, say that we have millennials companies in El Salvador? What? Do you think we have millennials uh, companies in El Salvador? Like YouTube? Yes, yes. For example, there are, there are a few companies that uh, was successful for example Hugo was from from was from there or was cured ish by mm -hmm. Salvadoran people and they create a, a huge company or a, that is valued in mil in million thousand dollars then uh, 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 sell to another to another company in the in the in the uh, to another company to another country oh really yes All right. they they sell the company around more than 100 million dollars oh okay that's very For interesting aha uh -huh, like the delivery app right Yes. But do you think like uh, that company in El Salvador looks like YouTube, like the like the pictures we saw, or not? I didn't hear you. Do you think? I didn't that, hear you. Do you think that Hugo uh, has facilities, all right, or buildings like the building from YouTube that we we check we, we check sorry on the pictures before, or they didn't I have. Don't know. I don't. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no worries. Okay, well, 
Thank you uh, for sharing that, right? So that's actually what um we can mention about like millennials, right? Then now, well, I have been talking for a long time already. So it's your turn to talk now, right? And for that, I just share some questions. Listen, um, I'm using the WhatsApp group because my computer almost crashed last night when I was trying to share a different screen here. So now I need to ask here for someone's help. All right, I just shared the questions that we're going to practice in the group. Can someone help me sharing their screen so we all can see the, the questions here, please? I truly appreciate if you can, please. Will anyone help me sharing their screen with the pictures I just sent? Mm, the, the questions? Yeah, the questions, yes. Okay, uh, we shared. Thank okay. you very much, Adriana. I appreciate it. Thank you. Exactly. That's um the image I was about to send. All right. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. All right. So, people. We are going to go to the breakout rooms, but before we go there, let's just discuss and see all those questions we have here so we can, um, you know, understand exactly what's the question asking so we can share it, all right? So number one, it says, what are some of the worst jobs you can think of? Let's talk about working. And you know, what is the relationship between these questions and the topic about millennials that we are going to share our point of views from different generations or thinking as millennials that some of us are. So uh, in your opinion, what could be some of the worst jobs you can think of? A job that you say like, no, I will never do that. Hmm? What could be that job? Hello, hello? What can be that job that you say, no, I'm not going to, I never, I will never do that. I never do in sales. Sales, okay. Yes. So you are I not- don't like, I don't like a, this department. Oh yes, it's true, all right. So yeah, I might understand you, all right. So, so it's difficult because you have goals and the goals are really high, and there's stress, right? A lot of stress. All, yes. all right. Yes. So, well, let's see. All right, let's continue with the question number two. Question number two says here, what are some of the best jobs you can think of? The best jobs. Imagine what could be the best job for you. Mm -hmm. Can someone tell me what is the best job, in your opinion? Me, me, you not really. <laughs> <laughs> Big millionaire. You, you know what? I tell you, I tell you a job that I will love I would love to have. And that would be to be a YouTuber, but not any kind of YouTuber. Those YouTubers who travel. Ah, you say you hit comunita. For example, for example, yeah. you know. Yes. It's, a, it's a nice, it's a nice, nice job. Yeah, I like it. Of course, of course, of course, right? In El Salvador, yes, yes. we also have our national version of Recito Comunica, which is El Tio Frank. Eh, the same, but yeah. at least the guy is going everywhere. I would like to go to those yeah. places. No conoce a Dios a cualquier santo le reza, teacher. What? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, did you say that because of Recito Comunica or because of Tio Frank? <laughs> there is another YouTuber, traveling YouTubers that are better than Visito Comunica. Oh, in my personal opinion, who in my personal opinion, I don't like uh, the whole content that uh, Visito posts on YouTube. Actually, okay, excellent. And, and who is that one? So maybe you can recommend us, and I can watch some videos. I watch a lot of uh, Angeline and Nat. Mm -hmm. And Gabriel Herrera. Oh. And there is another one that I don't remember the name, but it, he posts uh, kind of five or six videos of a little document documentary in Afghanistan. I don't remember the name of, of he, 
but if he oh. teaches about the 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 countries that he travels, not just for oh what am I what am I uh, he actually teaches about the the country, the culture, the customs, and everything actually. That's interesting. You know, I, I wouldn't really matter the content. I, the, what it really matters to me would be like traveling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay. So uh, you can share those recommendations perhaps in the WhatsApp group so we can watch some videos. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's see this one right there. Uh, number three, how long do you want to work? Mm, that's a good question. For how long would you like to work? One year, 10 years? 20 years, forever, until you die, not anymore. Those are the possible options. Uh -huh. For how long would you like to work? Hello, 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 hello. Hello. I don't know what okay. happens. I just disappear from the meeting, all right? So we were in the question number three. All right, how long would you like to work? Oh, how long do you want to work? Whatever, never, not anymore. So like, for example, um, if I ask Jolman, Jolman, you are a very young guy. So tell me, like, how long do you want to work? 20 years more, 10 years more, for how long? Uh, um, I don't know. Um, It's the pain of, of the situation. It's the pain okay. of, of my kind of job. Maybe work until um uh, uh fifth the sixty and then go uh uh own uh business. So own business. So let me see if I understood correctly. You said you want to work until you are 60? Mm, uh, yes, I will be. Okay, and, and how old are you? I am 20. 20. 20. So from 20 to 60, that will be like 40 years. 23. It's the pain of my health. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> Super important point, all right? So, yeah, but, but, but the help is, is, in, is in mind. I don't know. <laughs> right right because... now, uh, right now, I am a Joman, Joman, but I am, uh, I am uh, energy like a <laughs> older man. Oh my God, those confessions, right? All right. I am I am millennial. So you basically problem. you basically agree with all the things that we were saying about millennials before, right? No, the 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 real the the, the problem is I I I sleep late and I wake up early in my free days. I I wake I sleep late and I wake up late. Oh okay. Uh, yes, mm. that's the problem. I don't have a good a good uh sleeping good dream. Yes. Mm, that's a good problem. That is one problem. Big exactly. problem. Welcome yes, to yes. adulthood. All right. So <laughs> well, yes. let's say this one. All right, it says their number. People, I have this question for you. Is it better to be a boss or an employee? <laughs> for the payment, it's best the boss. <laughs> the boss, all right, because of the payment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about the responsibilities? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For me, teacher, it's better be boss. Mm -hmm. Are you a boss? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh huh. Tell me why. Uh, um, 
No, I I don't own my but I, I like to be a boss. Okay. That you like the idea to being the boss. Okay, very good. Of being the boss, I'm sorry. All right, so okay, no problem. Now tell me what will be the but, most but, but is is the responsibility is is is, is the boss have more responsibility, more ta more task. Task, uh, exactly. Task, task uh, 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 we we have we have to do everything in order in or, organizing to organize in, organize correct in it, it, it's difficult too but but i i like okay excellent so well um now let's say this thank you for sharing that by the way that's interesting because you are given the, ex the experience of a boss right there and i agree with you some there are more responsibilities definitely and well now people tell me what will be the most satisfying job for you the most satisfying job mm -hmm. how do you say Administrador de museo. <laughs> <laughs> the museum but, administrator. That museum is specifically um, coins collection from El Salvador. Okay, it was, very it was, good. Was ah, you mean the curadores? Huh? They, they call okay. curadores. Curadores. Ah, cur curators. Curators. Curadores. Curadores, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Is yeah, that the, the, the manager of the museum? Oh, really? The it's the name? Okay, I didn't know that one. All right. Yes. Yeah. Very good. But, 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 mm -hmm. but the curators is, is they have a, uh, how say, a study, a specialized in, speciality in, 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 in museum. How to how to create the all the things of the, the, the exhibition. Mm -hmm. Better, better job for me. <laughs> okay, excellent. All right, so that's, that would be interesting. I had never heard about that before, so I'm learning something new from you guys. Thank you for that, all right? So let's see, what's the next one? The next one right there will be, what is one of the most exciting jobs you can think of? How about one of the most boring jobs, all right? You know, what will be, in your opinion, a boring job? Security guard. Security guard? Yes. Why would you say so? Because they work 24 hours. Right. Could be. Could be, could be, could they be. They yeah. all time. Okay. And, and what would be like the opposite? One of the most uh, exciting jobs for you? Mm-hmm. The people who, for example, forest guard, the people that take take care of the the forest, the animals in the mountain. Mm. Yeah, what the resources? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. It's nice. <laughs> Okay, very interesting. All right, now let's go for the next question. So, you know, can you imagine like being taken care of the place and then you see an animal out of a student or anything like that? That's actually dangerous too. Right, so let's see. Mm. Uh, okay, now let's go with the next question. What kind of job do you want to get in the future? No one. <laughs> <laughs> None. 
All right. Well, why not? Maybe you can get a job that you really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Because my I, uh, my 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 job that I would like to get is that could be uh, you can work for for results or outcomes, not for a no for complete a uh, una jornada mm -hmm. mm. un like jornada you mean like uh your shift hey, oh. mm -hmm. shift shift uh -huh. yeah. shift mm -hmm. the word for a shift mm, eh, mm, and word for results uh, for example, and try to get a goal for sale, but no work for eight or daily. Okay. This is my opinion. Okay, that sounds like, like an interesting thing as well. All right. And now, um, that would be a job like, you know, that you could do, right? That's that's the job you want to have, you said, right? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, then. Uh, everybody else, do you think that uh, what job someone has determines who they are? Remember one more time. Do you think that, do you think what job someone has determines who they are? This is asking you a question like, for example, Si la persona que el trabajo que tiene la persona determina cómo es la persona. No. No. Why not? Because depende. Um, ah, there are there are different criteria. For example, eh, People say the whatever uh, how difficult is your job. Uh, the most important is your is your attitude. Your attitude, all right. Your attitude. But I seen that if the environment is toxic of the world, and that's a. Uh, it will, it won't be good. Okay. For the person. In the, per in the person, and one day it's going to be disappointed. Disappointed, correct. It's true. Mm -hmm. All right. And, um, well, what is the most dangerous job for you? Mm -hmm. What is the most dangerous job, in your opinion? Astronaut. Astronaut? <laughs> okay. An electrician technical. <laughs> I don't like an electrician. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid of electricity too, right? Because I can kill you immediately. Uh, maybe. Oh, good, good. Um, two, 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 three years ago, I, I, I put a, uh, a socket for a, uh, for a, uh, what, what don't focus? A bolt, light bolt. A, a bolt, yes, yes. I don't see, I don't see a, a cable without tape, and I put my head in the in the in the cable, <laughs> in shock. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> I, I use him. I use him gloves, gloves, uh, uh, for for work. Oh really? I use him gloves. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I I I touch the table with my head. And then I, you got I like feel, electric. I feel, yeah, I feel the electricity. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, yeah. now it sounds funny, but I guess at the moment that was actually very scary. 
Yeah, happily. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's uh-huh. different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. What about the next one? How difficult it's to get a job in our country? It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult because in my case, I have a, a, I am administration, uh, business administration, I am degree in business administration. Uh, and and I, I I work as a driver because because the age in this country the age is the is the principal. It's the main the main the main print the, the main the main problem mm-hmm. to to do to get a job because if you if you have if you have thirty five years or more you. You are very old. <laughs> like, unfortunately, yeah. right? And I guess it, it depends on the job as well. Because there are some jobs where you can uh, get a job even though if you are old, right? Uh, mm-hmm. As long as you have the ability or the skills, they can give you the job. But it's not like all the jobs, right? Yeah. That's... All right. So let's see this one. And 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 uh, what about like for example the last one? What company it's the best to work for? Let's talk about in our country. Mm-hmm. For example, everybody here is a Badorian. So in uh, in what company would you like to work? For example. The embassy. The embassy. Embassy. <laughs> the embassy. Yeah, right. But in a different country. <laughs> you say embassy or, or another embassy. <laughs> yeah, I would say like if you said the embassy, I would travel to a different country. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, or for the government. <laughs> any job for the government, right? Yeah, you can be. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I think teacher is better to work with uh with with an international companies because they pay they pay better. Better, yeah, exactly. They pay better, absolutely, because you know the salaries are based on uh, their countries, right? Yes. In my case, I I, I work for a international company. In my case. All right. Because I, because I am happy. <laughs> ah, okay. That's what he was saying about the salary. It's good. All right. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The, the, uh huh. The, 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 um, yeah, the company is international, but have a, a subsidiary, I'll say, to una subsidiary in the país. A branch, it would be una sucursal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, una sucursal in, in the country. Uh-huh. But, but the salary, but the salary range, range is from USA. Oh, interesting. And Randall okay. Canarianes, the, the Estados Unidos. Mm-hmm. I would like to work in a company like that too. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, excellent. So, very good. Um, okay, now that we have discussed all the questions, it's time for you to uh, practice, 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 all right? And we are going to go to the breakout rooms, you know, to discuss the questions. Remember that the questions are in the WhatsApp group. So if you cannot um, see the questions after that, you can just go to the WhatsApp group and you will see them right there. I will be uh, going from one breakout room to another one to help you or to contribute with the opinions that you might have. Remember, take this time for practicing, all right? I will assign the groups right now. Please join them. Go ahead.
in Um, Taking by the salon, so it's going to be the uncle to the number five. Mm -hmm. Who else is here? Still here. Lucy, Lucy, can you hear me? Right, Lucy, you joined the group. Well, Daniel is alone. Okay, I'll go for a ride. Number four. Okay. What are some um, what are some um well I don't know I think maybe it's a uh, a heavy a hard work um uh, the construction be because I think about about the sun. The sun is very hot. Ah oh, yes. And I imagine work hard, hard work very hard. Uh, with with this sun. Yes. I I I, I admire that that person. That that people because it's very not this worse but it's very it's very difficult very hard yes yes and also it's a little bit dangerous yes yes and when when we're in the in high ah uh, yes it's even worse <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, I, I think that is, maybe it's not the worst, yeah, but I think that is, I, I will like uh, work in this. Is I don't know how to say this, teacher. Um, Tell me. Mm -hmm. The people who work with the trash, with the la basura, Excuse me, the people who work with the what? With lava, with recogiendo basura. Oh, you mean like like recolect re, recolectores de basura? Yes. So that's like trash collectors. Trash collectors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think the this could be a 
I have that I wouldn't like to. Yes, yes. <laughs> difficult. It's difficult. Yes. It's, uh, it's very difficult because the people in our country is not, they don't have respect for their work. They have to put the, the trash. Yes. So it's, it's like a, a mess. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, the second one. What Mas, does I ah, see? Sí. Erica, Erica Josie Salis. <laughs> no, I am, I am. I just let you talk. She's in the partial, remember. Yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, but I'm here, but I'm here, I'm hearing you. Okay. Ask her questions, <laughs> ask her questions, make her participate. <laughs> okay, what do you think about what? what I go to a different room, guys. Good job. Continue practicing, okay? Okay. Okay. Kills, goals, kills. I I watch the the workplace in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, this show when finish the the schedule in the day, mm -hmm. you can go to your house to to the house. For me, um, I want to work the same. For the time, hello. Hello. Yes. Oh, okay. It was just very fine if I, I was connected. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> in my opinion, to stay in a job will depend on uh, of what I like about myself. For example, I am in actuality. I am work in the hospital of the area uh, radiology and the mage. Uh, I like my uh, all <laughs> schedules, my objectives, help the page, the patients, um, etc. Et you are nurse, Ruth. No, uh, a doctor. radiology and radiology and image and image mm. in the hospital. Uh, San Vicente C. I have three years of job in schedules. Um, the seven a.m. a.m. Sorry, to three p.m. all day. The Monday to Friday. <laughs> I like. <laughs> So you like what you do like, you think? Do you like your job? And you uh, what? Do you like your job? Yes. Okay. Yes, I like my job. Awesome, awesome. I guess Nelson cannot participate tonight. He's only listening. All right. So he's just like um listening to us. All right. <laughs> um 
how long do do you want to work? Me? Okay, I number want... three. Ah. I want um when finish my my job in the day, I I can go to my house. Ay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Is the better to be a boss or an employee? Um the the boss. The boss. Uh, be owned the my own <laughs> clinical health in my in my um, example and uh, bus the the bus of our clinic owned. Actually, you are the boss. Boss, boss. Yes, and you? No, I am an employee, but mm -hmm. never, never can be a boss because in finance is is more um, exigent. Demanding. Yes. Demanding, it's more demanding. Yes. Um, there are more responsibilities. I also manage the work clinic actuality. I like my job <laughs> in the resume. <laughs> okay. Continue with the next one. I will cut, I will just okay. go to a different room. If you need help, let me know. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Hey, one second here, Mr. Luna is alone. Okay. Sorry, continue, girls. I was just speaking my mind. The number five. Mm. What's goal? Hello? Hello. Hello, hello. All right. So, Mr. Luna, I saw you were alone, so that's why I moved you to a different room. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I alone with my with my solo con mi soledad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. So, well, you can continue now practicing with the two ladies. So, please, ladies, continue with the conversation. Okay. Daniel. Hello, hello. What is the most dangerous job? What do you think? For me, the electrician electrician techniques because I I I I don't like electricity, but for me, but but the people is the people who works in that area is. For, they know, they know the, the, the they know the, 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 they have the skills to, to do his job. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for you? 
when is the move? When is the when is the move? Is I think there are there are different kinds of dangers, but are 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 few tips tips of war that are more dangerous than another. Okay. For example, in in the past to be police uh, yeah. well, it was well, yes mm. um, another question mm -hmm. how well company is the best oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jamie, what company is the best? What company is the best to work for? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm, you. <laughs> What do you think, Nelson? Mm. Sorry, Daniel. Um, yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's a... Yeah, I would say uh, um, an international company, but in this country, it's very complicated. <laughs> because the company um, pays the salaries, uh, with base in this country, it's not based in another country. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. This 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 question mm -hmm. uh, for me is interesting. Is interesting the structure for this for say what company is the worst to work for all right so when i when i, I is speaking mm -hmm. it's difficult to me to uh, structure this kind of question uh, there is a uh, my question is is there a order for do these kinds of questions um you know what happens there so, it's it's not that there is a structure because the structure is the same as for simple present. That's a question in simple present. Um, using the verb to be in an adjective. So what company is the best? Then the additional information that this the question has, it's a phrasal verb, a phrasal verb, which is work for. Do you know what is a phrasal verb, Jamie? Uh, yeah, a verb. Correct. Adverb. A verb with a preposition. Yes. A verb with a preposition. Like, for example, wake up, stand up, get dressed, etc. Right? So, uh, that's actually what happens right here. Si tú dejas, for example, la question as a, what company is the best? Do you understand? Que compañía es la mejor? Right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. So, but then you add the phrase of work for, which is trabajar para, all right? So, and then that changes the meaning. So, what company is the best to work for? ¿Cuál es la mejor compañía para trabajar? So, it's not an structure. It's just the phrase of that they are using there. That's it. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's it's about getting used to using the phrase of birds, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if I ask you, uh, Jamie, how do you say, ¿cuál es, la, eh, ¿cuál es la mejor hora para levantarse? How would you say that? What, what or is the best to... The best time? The best time to wake up. To wake up. Or, 
No, sin el for. Right? So, en este caso, es work for, es porque es parte del phrasal verb work for. You know? Como wake up, oh. son dos palabras que van juntas y significan despertarse. Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, work for, like, the phrasal verb work for, it's like the two words that are actually um, together. Right? Ok. Eso me he fijado, por ejemplo, cuando preguntas, cuando alguien pregunta, por ejemplo, ¿Quién quieres que te acompañe? Por, y dice, who want to someone accompany, y al final el tú. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because it's like te acompañe a, exactly, right? So en ese caso es work for, because work for someone, it's just like, trabajas para, un empleador, right? So you work for, for example, I can say, I work for in this corporativo. That's my case, right? All right. And, and if you want to ask me, teacher, para quien trabaja? So you're going to say like, teacher, who do you work for? Or what company do you work for? Pero vas a decir work for because that's the phrase number that is uh, the one that you're going to use, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. No problem. You can continue with the conversation. I will go to a different room. And if you have questions, let me know. All right. Okay. Thank you. The... Hi, teacher. Hello. So you texted me about the phone, right? About yes. Eric. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, all right. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So, did you finish participating all the questions, been practicing all the questions here? Uh, no. Yes. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. You, someone said yes and the other one said no. <laughs> a little bit. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to ask a question to Joelman just because of that, okay? <laughs> okay, Joelman, tell me, in, in your opinion, what is the Best company to work for. Uh, in the in the country. Mm -hmm. In this oh, country, of course. Uh, I don't know. I I just I am list I I am listening about Telus. Because mm -hmm. uh, the the workplace it's it's okay. Is it's chill, uh, but I don't know. Uh, just for the 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 for the the workplace, the 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 ambient, maybe. Okay, Look. yeah, you know, uh, Telus. Um, it's a nice company, right? It's a really nice company, and they are um. It's a call center, of course, so the job is stressful. I'm not going to lie. But the facilities are nice. You know, they have nice cafeterias, game rooms, or breakout rooms where you can go and play video games when you're not working, of course, right? They have a gym. They have, um, you know, really nice facilities. So, yeah, it's a nice company. So, if you can uh, work there, so if you had the opportunity to work there, gentlemen, take that opportunity. Uh, no, 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 this for me is it's very, very, very far for me. Oh, really? And where, where are you from? Where do you live, actually? In Soyapango. Soyapango, no, but Soyapango is in San Salvador, and Telus is in Plaza, in Multiplaza. So, yeah, very close. No, it's with the traffic, and it's very late for, for, <laughs> no, Maybe. No, it's good. Not this good idea. I I uh, not a good idea. Work work far. Yeah, I completely understand you. All right. So, and, and what about you, Adriana? What would be like the best company to work for, in your opinion? For example, for me, I would like to 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 work for a Applaud Studio. I don't know if you have heard about this company. Mm -hmm. uh, no. What is the no. company about? Uh, for example, is it's about technology, and um, and I would like to to work for for them because I like uh, design. Mm -hmm. 
and they have position like UX design, UX UI design, and that's and also they work with people from different parts of the world, and they they can give you the opportunity to to work from home. So that's something that I would like. <laughs> Okay, interesting, 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 interesting. Uh, what do you think about working remotely? Maybe have you ever thought about working for a, an American company or a company in a different country? Uh, I work for a, for a, I work from home for a marketing agency, but uh, this is just in, in Latin, in Latin, America <laughs> people okay. and is a Latin marketing agency. So I would like to 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 be like uh, to work with people not from not just from from uh, Latin America. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would like to to other to work with people to uh, to others parts of the world. Okay, yeah, definitely, right? So you can, uh, you know, get new experience, of course, right? And you can meet people from different countries as well. Yes, yes, that's something that I like from, from my current job, mm -hmm. but I would like more. <laughs> okay, great. All right, awesome. Thank you. And for how long have you been working in the company you're working at? It's my, my, just a uh, one year. Oh, just one year. All right. Yes, it's my it's my first job. <laughs> oh, really? It's your first job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, and Adriana, do you mind if I ask you how old are you? Um, uh, I'm twenty three. Oh, you're twenty three years old. Excellent. And but I'm just asking this to ask you the next question. And how okay. do you see yourself in five years from now? Mm, maybe. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> maybe like the situation that was I was telling you before that, for example, apply to to other company that is big that maybe it will be bigger from a uh, uh, about the the company that I'm working right now. Okay, cool, excellent. All right, so thank you very much. All right. Thank you for sharing all uh, that, all right? And, and I hope you can actually achieve those goals in in the future, right? In the near future. So let's just go back to the main class right now so we can actually close, I mean, finish the class right now, okay? okay. Go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello, Trini. All right. Hello. So thank you very much for sharing all that information that you have been discussing today. You know, something that I really like from you guys is that you have um, the creativity to express your ideas. You have the vocabulary to, um, you know, express what you're trying to say. And you are not afraid of asking, right? So if you have questions, you can perfectly ask the questions. And remember, I am here to help you, right? I'm here to clarify any doubt you might have. And even though the whole unit three, it's about millennials, I have been trying to bring different activities and different information so you can, um, you know, have the perception that at least you are working in something different instead of just like talking about the same topic, right? So, well, tonight's class, it's over. So we already finished with this practice. I really love when you go to the rooms and you're talking, expressing your opinions. And, and I guess that's the best way to improve your English level, that you practice and practice uh, as much as you can. Remember, I guess during the day, you are very busy in your jobs. So you don't have time for practicing. Or do you have time for practicing in your jobs? No. Oh Right. Oh, look to you, Daniel. Right, but not everybody's as lucky as you to have the time to practice. Right, so yeah, we need yeah. to take advantage of these activities here in the class. Right, so practice. Remember to join the class 
every single day. Do your homework, which is important. Friday is coming, so don't forget to do the homework. And, um, well, thank you. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow, people. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Get well soon, Carla. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.